seek the Lord shall know. Welcome to Sunrise Kids. I am Kelly and I am Ella. No worries, as we will seek the Lord, we will surely find Him. Jesus wants you to know Him more. We all will. And now, one of our Salt and Light Kids will lead us in prayer. Hello Salt and Light Kids, let us pray. Put your hands together, close your eyes, and let's talk to Jesus. Dear Lord, thank you for blessing us with another day to learn more about you. Bless us and wisdom, joy in all things we'll do today. May your will be done in your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Awesome! Kids, are you all ready? Let's sing our memory verse song. So stand up, sing out loud, and dance with us. my desire to praise the Lord. Yeah, I would always give out all my energy to worship Him. And since I just did, I'm actually kind of thirsty. can find my tumbler. Oh, no worries. I have extra purified water here. Oh, thanks. Just in time. Oh. I remember that this water is a groundwater. <coughs> this coming from the ground? Yeah, it is. But no worries. The reason why it is called purified is because it is purified for us so we can safely drink it. Is it really safe? It's still from the ground. It is. It has undergone different processes to remove bacteria, fungi, algae, parasites, and many more. Oh, that's awesome! And no matter how I look, it doesn't seem from underground. So pure and clean. That's right! And you know what? This water symbolizes our hearts being blessed by the Lord. You mean being pure in heart? Like what the Sixth Beatitude says? Exactly! Imagine our hearts like this groundwater. For sure, it is full of dirt and other contaminants. So dirty! No one would want that. I can't bear even by looking. Yeah, and this is the condition of our hearts. And just like this water, we cannot clean ourselves by our own, so we need the help of the Lord. Indeed right! So kids, remember the Beatitude we'll further learn today. 
Blessed are the pure in hearts, for they shall see God. Ah, what a great reward! To further understand the Beatitude today, let's first have our Bible story time! So, sit down, open your eyes, wide, carefully listen, and hush! Are you ready? David assembled all officials of Israel, including his son, and told them about his great desire to build a house for the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. But God's plan is different from him, and told him that he is not the one to build it for him. Instead, it is his son Solomon to whom the promise of the Lord also rests. So, David complying to what is the will of God, charges all the officials to be careful to follow all that God's command. As for his son Solomon, he said, And you, Solomon, my son, know the God of your father and serve him with a whole heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searches all hearts and understands every plan and thought. If you seek him, he will be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will cast you off forever. Be careful now, for the Lord has chosen you to build a house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do it. With this, David gave all the plans for the temple that the Spirit of the Lord put in his mind. He gave as well the division for the works in the temple during and after it will be built. Out of his great devotion and pure intention for building the temple, David secures everything that will be needed for it. Even his own personal treasures he gave for it, and now he encourages everyone to do the same, which result into willingly giving of gold, silver, bronze, iron, as well as precious stone. David praised the Lord in the presence of the assembly and acknowledged that it is all out of the graciousness of the Lord why they have the heart and means to give these things for him. He even said, O Lord our God, all this abundance that we have provided for building you a house for your holy name comes from your hand and is all your own. I know, my God, that you test the heart and have pleasure in uprightness. In the uprightness of my heart, I have freely offered all these things. And now, I have seen your people who are present here, offering freely and joyously to you. O Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, our fathers, keep forever such purposes and thoughts in the hearts of your people, and direct their hearts towards you. Grant to Solomon, my son, a whole heart, that he may keep your commandments, your testimonies, and your statutes, performing all, and that he may build the palace for which I have made provision. Once more, David praised the Lord to the whole assembly, and everyone bowed and fell face down before the Lord and their king. Whoa! What an awesome story! David has shown what being pure in heart is. Having a pure heart means our hearts being clean, blameless, and free from any guilt. That's right! Just like what David did, we can see the purity in his heart to please the Lord alone. Yeah, and that also means being true to God, having no pretensions and hidden agenda towards what we do for the Lord. Purity of heart is always marked by transparency and desire to please God in all things without compromising. And take note, achieving a pure heart is something that we cannot do. It is a work of the Holy Spirit upon our heart. So live our lives to Him and He will help us be cleansed through His sacrifice out of His great love for us. And He will work through our lives to make us clean. Those who have a pure heart are indeed blessed to see the Lord. By that, we can see God work around us and experience His great love and presence. So salt and light kids, pray to have a pure heart, okay? And God will bless you to see Him work in your life. 
Ask God for a pure heart. Wow! 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 wow. I've always heard this song a lot of times. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. This water. This water. Let's first have our. Nope. <laughs> Let's our heart being clean. Clean? <laughs> Oh, thank you, Lord. Our dear satellite kids, did you have fun with us? I hope you learned about our sixth beatitude today. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Having a pure heart means having a clean and blameless heart that only God can give and see Him work through our lives. Pure in heart sees God. Yes, indeed. May we all see God. And now, let's all pray together. So put your hands together, close our eyes, and let's talk to Jesus. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for teaching us about being pure in heart. Cleanse our heart each day so we may see your goodness to us. May your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And before we say goodbye, we'd like to invite you for another fun and exciting activity with us next week. Keep in mind that God is the one who can make us clean. Come to Him and see how great He is. And that's all for today. Jesus loves you and be a Saturday night kids. Bye-bye.